you so much for joining me today. You know, one of the questions that I get the, asked the most is about my concealer and how do I apply it after 60 so it doesn't look creepy, it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't crease. And I thought, let me just do a video on that. For those of you that are new to my channel, I'm 62, I turned 62 in September. I am not going to talk today about any specific concealers. I'm going to leave that for another video. I think I, I'm, I have it scheduled to go up on Saturday. Before that video goes up, I wanted to give you some of my tips that I use. I didn't want to include the concealers in this video in order to keep the video fairly short. This is really what works for me. I am not a makeup artist or anything like that. I'm just going to share what works for me and perhaps it's going to work for you as well if you are having problems with concealers. The first thing that I do that I think is so important, first of all, I always use sunscreen. I apply the sunscreen right under my eyes. I use sunglasses. I don't go out without it sunscreen all over it is an absolute must even when i am just inside the house because i do have lots of windows and the sun really comes in if you've been with me for a while you know i have lots of hyperpigmentation that is something that i control and i think primarily it's with the sunscreen i love this one by color science it is, it is the sun forgettable because it works so well under makeup, it works well under concealers. If the one that you have is working well for you, then please continue using it. Another important thing that I think that I do is take care of my eyes with eye cream. I know there are many that don't believe in using an eye cream, and if you don't believe it and it works for you, then please continue doing it. If I don't apply an eye cream, my eyes are just as dry and creepy as can be and I'm all full of wrinkles. I I wake up the following morning with just total lines under my eyes. What I do in the evening is I apply the Kiehl's. This is the creamy eye treatment. This is an avocado eye cream. It is a little pricey. I What I do is I just buy the half ounce and I apply just the tiniest, tiniest little bit, if you can see that. Basically, it doesn't mean that you have to run out and buy this specific one. I think that what is important here is for the evening in the PM skincare routine to use an eye cream that is emollient. And this is very emollient. If you have one that you love, use it at night. I do not like this one for the day because it is too emollient. For the daytime, I use the 100% Pure. This is a coffee bean caffeine eye cream. I love this. I've been using this one for years. This is a little lighter consistency than the Kiehl, so it works exceptionally well underneath all of my concealers. And I apply this, this eye cream, and I just let it set. It doesn't have to be for a long time, a minute, and, it's, and that is enough. If you prefer one from the drugstore, I think this one from CeraVe. This is the CeraVe, Cera, CeraVe Repair cream, I think this one works exceptionally well. What I do, I have tried so many of these. None of the ones that I have tried seem to work as well as the Smashbox. This is the Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. Does an exceptional job at hydrating that under eye area. And I think that after 60, that is something really that, at least in my case, that I feel is drying up the most. Therefore, a good hydrating primer really works. This lasts a very long time. You don't need an awful lot of it. Just a little bit after you apply your eye cream in the after you, you apply your eye cream in the morning, before you apply your concealer, it probably I probably buy maybe two a year, if that 
because they do last a long time and I just wait until Ulta has their sales and they usually have it on there and that's when I buy it. I highly recommend it. I have purchased so many of these under eye hydrating primers and none of them work as well as this one and I have Natalie the Beauty Diva to thank for that because she was the one that recommended this one. I think something that is so important in order to avoid that creepiness and that caking up of the eye of the concealers is not to apply an awful lot of products, not to layer so many products underneath the eye. For example, the foundation. If you just use your foundation as a concealer, that's great. And then you don't apply anything afterwards. However, if you are like me and you apply a foundation and you also apply a concealer because you enjoy wearing a concealer that is maybe one shade lighter, that's what I do, just to give a little bit of brightness underneath my eyes, is I don't bring the, the foundation right up to my eyes. I keep it pretty low. I keep it right at this area right here and that's where I stop. I don't bring it up any further than that. Then with when applying the concealer, I just add a couple, maybe two or three dots, one in the inner corner and two in the bottom. And then I start working it with my one of my round brushes. I have two that I really like. These are this, I have one by Zoeva. This is the concealer buffer. Sigma also has one. And then most recently I was watching Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats and Kathy was talking about that she has one from Technique. I do not have one from Real Techniques. I hadn't seen it until Kathy talked about it, but that is a good way to go if you want something that is not as expensive as the Zoeva or the Sigma, even though the Sigma is a pretty affordable brush. Then I just, after I spread it basically with the brush very gently, then I go over it with my finger and I start moving it up. I think it works well that way. Less is more. You could always add some more. If you add too much at first, that's where the caking begins. But if you apply it low enough and then start working your way up, that pretty much avoids the caking and the creasing. The other thing that I do is then finally I go over it with the Beauty Blender. Something that I want to mention, if you do not want to use one of these concealer buffing brushes, you don't need to. You could basically do the same thing with your Beauty Blender and just continue bringing it up and spreading it. Then I spray the Beauty Blender with a little bit of setting spray and that's when I go over it. If you like to use a powder, I highly recommend this one. This is by e.l.f. This is the high definition under eye setting powder. And I just use a pretty fluffy brush and very, very little product to actually set it under underneath because otherwise it can look a bit cakey and it can show up the fine lines and the wrinkles. For I think that for me, what works the best is after I apply the concealer is go over it with the setting spray and just take your brush and apply a little bit of your setting spray, whatever setting spray you like, and then just go over it just a little bit with that setting spray. Setting spray that doesn't contain alcohol. That's very important. We don't want to put any alcohol in that area. It doesn't matter which one you use. It could be the one, I think it's Elf that has one that doesn't contain any alcohol. The Fix Plus, the Bella Jade. I love this one. I have this one. It's a dewy set by Anastasia. This one is a little glowy and radiant. I'd be a little careful with that one. But even these little bottles from Fix Plus last a long time. And just spray your brush and then just go right underneath it. 
it will set your concealer and it won't give you that powdery cakey look. And if you do like to use a powder, finish it off with some spray and that will eliminate some of that powdery look. If you have a concealer with a very thick consistency, for example, the one from It Cosmetics, that is pr a pretty thick concealer. I do not have it, but I have one from Makeup Forever that is pretty much the same consistency as, as that one. And the problem with this concealer is that because it is so thick that many ladies have told me that they have problems with it. The It Cosmetics, and I used It Cosmetics a few years ago, and yes, that's exactly right. What I do in that case, we don't have to throw it out. Like I didn't throw away this makeup forever. Take a tiny little drop, of that concealer that is extremely thick. Take a little bit of eye cream and I'll show you about how much I use. Just a little bit of the eye cream. Then take your brush and combine them together. One, one viewer told me a long time ago, she said, well, if you just apply the cream and then apply the concealer is the same effect. And if that works for you, then please continue doing it. That doesn't work for me. It works for me better if I combine both the concealer with the eye cream. And that way it will make it a little bit thinner and a little easier to work with. It will eliminate that creasing and that heaviness of some of these concealers. It doesn't matter which one it is. It's going to work well with any eye cream. Like I said, I like this one from CeraVe and I always keep this on hand and it is specifically for these concealers that I have that are a little thicker. I like to use different concealers. I, you know me, I just use whichever concealer, whatever foundation, the first one that I grab. And then once again, once you have it mixed, then go right underneath, very low, and then bring it up again. I think that works very well. It also helps us use up those thicker concealers that we're not exactly sure, okay, what am I gonna do with this now? I can't use it, it's too thick. My, it, it just doesn't work under underneath my eyes. And if you mix it, it's going to do a good job. I think that is really all I wanted to share with you. I sh Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about how you apply your concealer. Do you think this is going to help you? Is it something that you may try? I will have the video up on Saturday with the different concealers, both drugstore and high end, which are my favorites, and I'll share those with you. I have a few favorites from the high end and from the drugstore. And maybe if you're looking for one, that video will help you. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you joining me today. Thank you for the thumbs up and the comments. And I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget, ladies, follow your passion, whatever it may be. I'll see you next time. Bye.